you in the kind of place where never admits to meeting someone. First, second, third. That's all irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, but hey, it happened. I think a lot was lost in translation. <laughs> Yet such are the foibles of the English language. Yet, looking back in retrospect, I think we were too far gone to notice. shy of mainlining too much. 200 quid in Soho and, and three days recovering in the Shaftesbury Arms. Skinted. The happy. This is how it was for a while. After the club, the after party, the way home, 16 with morals left in yesterday, <laughs> claiming an understanding of any little quip or self-deprecation after it. How I could fall in love. surrounding you seem like a little threat, and the self-assured yet self-loathing character jumped to the main stage as we kissed you goodbye. It's strange looking back how difficult all this one seemed to achieve. The older you get, the better you used to be. A mantra for the shy amongst us. Yeah, I slept with her. Sorry I had to come out on an album. I didn't mean it in this way. It was a secret shared for posterity and, and kudos around friends. I remember you had a flat on a road by the way that led to somewhere I couldn't afford to be. Put everything into perspective. We live this lie, but who doesn't? And minor, nondescript, everyone sells records. They all sell records. Should I, should I reel off the list? Your girlfriend, a thinly disguised possible acronym of your name. Or all this shit that could have been me. It's great your life of velvet persuasion keeps me sweet. And it hints towards some form of lost grandeur, lost in the 30s, but referenced by everyone since. So I'm getting older. Yet my ego's flattered. And every joke's an in-joke. joke. Yes, I'm living in a joke where everyone has posh girls' names. 